हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ टू डाउनलोड ए पर्टिकुलर वेबसाइट सोर्स कोड फाइल्स सच एस एच टी एम एल फाइल सी एस एस फाइल एंड जावा स्क्रिप्ट फाइल सो टू इलस्ट्रेट दिस कंसेप्ट आई विल ओपन ए वेबसाइट लेट सपोज गूगल डॉट कॉम लेट सपोज यू वॉन्ट टू डाउनलोड द ले आउट फाइल ऑफ गूगल डॉट कॉम द एच टी एम एल फाइल सी एस एस फाइल इफ आई टाइप ऑन ब्राउजर गूगल डॉट कॉम दिस सर्च इंजन ओपन सो यू जस्ट नीड टू फॉर डेवलपमेंट पर्पज यू नीड द एच टी एम एल फाइल्स एंड सी एस एस एंड जावा स्क्रिप्ट to download this we have a package which is called as note site downloader so we will be making this inside node js express you can see this is a package so just write if you write this on google the very first link which comes in this is a website npmjs.com node package manager so you can see it has got 18 weekly downloads so you need to globally install this module which is npm install dash g dash g is the global flag that you need to apply so just copy this command and what you need to do is that you need to go to your command line and open the command line and simply paste this command and run this so it will globally install this module on your system i have already done that so i will not do this again to follow along the step by step instruction you just go to the blog here the blog will be there inside the video description here i have illustrated step by step process on how to make this application from scratch inside node js so all the screenshots are also there and now after installing it your command will be available if you type here uh, on the command line which is uh, node dash site downloader so if you globally install this module this module will be available you will see this command will work and now what we need to do is that you need to go to your directory wherever you will create your project so let's suppose i make a new directory here make a new directory pr pr go to it and then we will open a simple visual studio code text editor so first of all guys i will show you the demo of the command how this command work so now to download the source code of files of any website let's suppose so it will clone the website locally so you can just browse the website locally without any internet connection so we will write this command like this node website downloader and then we need to provide a flag which is download so here we will write download and then we will provide dash s and then we will write the name of the website which is we need to write this https prefix so we will then write here google.com if you don't write this prefix you will get a error then we need to write dash d for domain and then we need, again need to paste the same address which is google.com google.com and uh, then guys what we need to do is that we need to pass a dash v dash v stands for verbose and then we need to write dash dash include images so if you want to download the images also of the website include dash images and then you will provide the output folder which is dash o stands for output folder directory so here we will make the directory as a, a website data that's it if you run this command so it will say that oh sorry this is not site downloader not sorry guys this needs to be node site downloader this is a package if i run this command you will see it will download the urls under google.com you will say it is now downloading all these urls so you can you will see it will have created this folder which is pr folder let me just see pr this is my folder and you will see it has created this folder website data dot site and it is downloading all these html files images css files and javascript you can see so it is downloading it so you just need to wait until this command finishes so this totally depends upon your internet connection how speedy is your internet connection so it will scrape the website and it will download all the html files into your local computer so that you can browse the website without any internet connection this is a very good module for development process because if you are programming a specific website layout then you will want all the html files which are there inside the website so i found this module to be pretty good 
you can see it is downloading all this images also you can see so it totally depends upon how long is the website how many pages are there inside the website so you need to be waiting just wait until it fill, uh, fully finishes so just wait you can see it has finished downloading google.com now you can open an individual page let's suppose i open the index page so this is an index page that you see inside google you can even edit this with notepad plus plus if you are making a google clone website then you can get all the source code which you have got here you can see this is all the source code of google you can just see how they are preparing their website so this is very good guys so you can just open this with google google chrome if you open this you will see this is a you can see this is a google search that you can see here you can see so now you can just go to the individual pages and you can have the css also what css that they have used here you can see you can also have the fonts as well all the fonts which are used on google.com and this you can do this for any website on the internet you just need to copy paste the all the images are also scraped here you can see so we have downloaded all the website data that was attached to it and this is a javascript you can see so very cool module this is note site downloader so definitely check out this and go to the video description to download all the source code and now we will do this programmatically in node.js how to do this stuff so you just need to open your editor so we have opened here you can see so inside this you just need to as you know inside uh, node.js project we need to have a package.json file so here we will initialize the package.json file which is npm init dash y so this will create an empty package.json file inside your directory you can see so this will have the basic information about your project which is name version description and now we just need to simply create the index.js file which will be the starting point of the application so here we will uh, we will be using a module which is uh, execute method we will be using the execute method we will extract this execute method from the child process built-in module of node.js so we need to require it so child process is generally the built-in module of node.js which allows you to execute shell commands so basically whatever shell commands we are performing on the command line we can programmatic programmatically perform using node.js so there is this execute method you can see we will execute this command which we have so i can paste it i think sorry no i need to so if you go to my blog here i have simply copy pasted the command here so you can just paste it so if you go to it you can see this is the command so you can see so you can see that guys so simply paste it and now you will see um, if i just change it uh, to my website here which is free media tools this is my again a tool based website so definitely check out this website of mine this is my tool based website so i have changed the website here and you can see let me also change the folder to free media tools and as you know it takes a callback which is error and then we have the standard out and standard error these are the callback function so so this is the arrow function now we can just console log standard out like this sorry that's it and now we can run your application and simply you can just go to node index.js so if you perform this query you will see on the left hand side it will create another folder which will be i think so it will download all the website files regarding freemediatools.com and it will store it inside a folder which is uh, i think it doesn't execute it let me just cross check 
I think this needs to be reversed here. We need to put standard error first. So standard error and then standard output like this. And now if you rerun the application, so it will work here. So just wait. Again, if I refresh, if I execute this query, node index.js so so what we can do is that you can go to my blog and here I have copy pasted my code here so simply you just copy this I have I need to paste this paste and here you can just change the URL to free media tools let me also switch off to my internet connection I think this internet connection is slow that is why it is taking time to download files so it may let me just switch it to this you can see that guys it has downloaded the free media tools you can see it had it has downloaded successfully and you will f uh, find all the files which are CSS this is exactly my files here which was regarding my this is my profile.jpg the image that you see on the website you can see and these are the javascript files so definitely guys check out this tool uh, check out this uh, application this is a very awesome application which allows you to scrape all the urls of a website and download it locally so that you can view it uh, without any internet connection so definitely check out this the link will be there inside the video description and also check out my website which is freemediatools.com so here i put tools various tools 140 tools are there on my website so definitely check out these tools so i will be seeing you in the next video please like the video subscribe the channel